Шейха Моза бит Насер Альмезнет is the most fashionable and influential woman of the Arab world. Without hijab and burqa for the Arab world, her style is audacity. The former emir of Qatar allowed his second wife not only to remove the burqa, but also to interfere in state affairs. It's hard to believe, but she is 63 years old and she looks amazing. Sheikha Moza is known in Qatar as the most influential and powerful woman, as well as a fashion icon. The fate of this famous Arab woman is not easy. Her husband, the former emir of Qatar, has two more wives and she has to be strong and watch her appearance in order to constantly win the competition between husband's wives. The story of her life is quite in the spirit of oriental fairy tales, and if someone decided to shoot a series based on Moses' biography, it would turn out something in the spirit of the magnificent century. Only instead of Sultan Suleiman is the crown prince of Qatar, and instead of Huram is Moza the daughter of a prominent Qatari businessman. How did Sheikh Hamoza manage to become so popular? Why does she look so young? Is it true that she had plastic surgery? And why did Forbes magazine recognize her as one of the most influential women in the world? Listen to the incredible life of Sheikh Hamoza bin Nasser. You are watching the Brilliant Stories channel, please subscribe and click on the bell icon, and we will continue. When we talk about Muslim women, we usually imagine a shy, quiet woman who is behind her husband's back, but this is not about Sheikh Hamoza. Unlike the wives of powerful male rulers, she was bored in the four walls of the palace. She participated in many international events and even without her husband. Sheikha Moza has been accustomed to a high position since childhood because her father was a big businessman. In her youth, Moza realized that constant learning and knowledge could help her to be content not only with the role of the wife of the Emir of Qatar. Therefore, Moza graduated from the sociology department at Qatar University and completed an internship at several universities in the United States. When she was studying at university, the Crown Prince of Qatar, Sheikh Hamad bin Khalifa Al Thani, saw her and offered her to marry him. Moza was only 16 when she became part of Qatar's royal family. In the following years, she learned all the subtleties of palace etiquette, gave birth to seven hairs and even became friends with two other wives of Hamad. It seemed that Moza had turned into one of those Muslim women who were destined to spend their whole life behind their spouse's back. Moza's leadership qualities and mind simply would not allow her to always remain on the sidelines. Therefore, having strengthened her position in the palace, she began to come out of the shadows. First of all, Moza resumed her studies. She received a bachelor's degree from the Qatar Institute. Even then, the crown prince became the distinguished Moza from the other wives. He admired her wisdom, courage and hard work. Moreover, Hamad even became to listen to her opinion, which is extremely unusual for Arab families. So many historians and journalists believe that Moza played an important role in what happened in Qatar in 1995. In the summer of 1995, Hamad bin Khalifa Al Thani proclaimed himself the ruler of Qatar. It was a bloodless coup that opened a new page in the history of the state. In the following years, Hamad carried out many economic and social reforms, approved the new constitution and engaged in increasing natural gas production which turned Qatar into the country with the highest per capita income in the world, more than $90,000. In 2003, the merits of Sheikh Hamoza were highly appreciated in the international arena, and she was invited to become a UNESCO special envoy for basic and higher education. She gladly agreed, and she wanted to benefit not only her own country, but also other people from other countries. Sheikh Hamoza also became the founder of the EAU, Education Above All Foundation, which has so far helped 
10 million young people from disadvantaged families to get back on their feet. Sheikha has visited many third world countries, Bangladesh, Gaza Strip and Kenya. Sheikh Moza was called the Queen of Hearts. For poor children and their parents, Sheikh Moza became a ray of light in the kingdom of darkness. After all, this amazing woman gave them opportunities that they could not even dream of. Very quickly, Sheikh Moza turned into the most influential female public figure in the East. She has received many prestigious awards, including the title of Dame Commander of the Order of the British Empire. She accompanied her husband at international receptions and even made solo trips abroad, which women from the Qatari royal family could never afford. However, Sheikh Hamoza says that she never pursued the goal of making a splash or destroying traditions. Everything happened naturally. It wasn't some kind of strategy of violating norms. It's just that my husband believes in me, my work and my ability to bring positive changes. He sees me as a worthy partner. As for the rest of the Arab world, he sees the Sheikh's wife as an undoubted icon of style. She never wears hijabs, prefer more modern and elegant turbans. And her wardrobe includes outfits from such world brands as Chanel, Hermes, Ralph and Russo, Stephanie Roland, Jean Paul Cartier, and Valentino. Sheikh Moza admits that she has a special weakness for beautiful shoes, among which Christian Labotin shoes have become a favorite for her. It is also curious that she independently composes her fashion images without using the services of stylists. I just can't find anyone who understands what I want. She explains, smiling. Sheikh Hamoza is a woman who subdues men. But Sheikh Hamoza arranged everything so that her son became the ruler of Qatar. It was an incredible step, but the Sheikh did it only for the sake of his beloved wife, Sheikh Hamoza. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please like it and don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video.